All right. You back rolling with our coolest chef and all the land. <laughs> Cooking with Chef Easy and Bones in the bucket. <laughs> okay, family. Uh, the chef is getting ready to introduce another one step item. Okay, uh, goes with something like this here. Now, what I'm gonna show you is a ball. <laughs> it's a ball that's been rolled in what I call an Italian garlic bread crumb. You know, I make the bread crumbs myself. And uh, I rolled this ball right in there, okay? What's interesting about this ball is, let's just say that you were making a salad. And you didn't want to deal with the croutons, okay? The chef is going to show you how to do something to where you never have to have the croutons, all right? Okay, back to the ball. Ball. We're going to slice this ball open, like so. Okay. The ball is sliced open, and what you see inside is the egg. Okay. And... I would say, with the crust all the way around the egg, and the egg is on the inside, what do you need a crouton for? Well, you can just put this, bam, right on top of your salad, and start filling in the blanks, okay? Again, ball, crouton ball, which is a crouton egg. Egg, crouton, okay, now, you can't say that I didn't tell you about this because if you're making your little salad uh, and you got some of these made up, it's going to impress your guests because somebody's going to say, well, where the croutons at? Not, <laughs> you don't need the croutons. They're going to say, where the egg at? You don't need it because it's all wrapped into one. Okay? Bam. Bam. All in one, okay? Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, egg wash, flour, uh, and, and, and do whatever crumbs you like. I did a, a garlic herb because I like garlic uh, herb croutons. Um, but with an item like this here, you can do whatever you want. Hey, Miss Watson, uh, Miss Watson, how you doing? I hope everything is well. Where are you from? Are you from the Lou? Are you from St. Louis? Uh, big shout out to my hometown, uh, St. Louis, a.k.a. the Lou. You're now rolling with the coolest chef in all the land. <laughs> Cooking with Chef Key and bones in the bucket. Uh, again, you boil that egg, okay? Then you start to dip it in your little egg wash there. Roll it in your flour. Go back to the egg wash, roll it in your breadcrumbs, and drop it in some oil that's about 300 degrees, okay? Because you want it to turn out golden brown all the way around, okay? Uh, I call it the one-stop, the one-step, uh, the one-step shop uh, as far as a salad or anything that you may want to do. If you want to turn it into a Cajun breading, you can do that. If you want to turn it into any kind of breading you want because breading is 13 million miles long. You can make breadings out of anything. Okay, so much for that. I just wanted to show you guys that you already know. <laughs> Late at night, when all the world is asleep, within their dreams, I'm in the kitchen. Late at night, a cooking feeling takes control over me, and I can't fight it, so I go. Into the kitchen late at night, all alone. I stir the pots until I find someone who is cooking like me. Looking for that perfect recipe. You know, cooking with Chevy. All right, background, cut that out. Power off. 
All right, family. Grated egg that can be done any way you want. And if you want to take the yellow out and put the, uh, what's the name, inside to make the double eggs, you can do that also. Many things to be creative. Okay, until next time, hands on, hands in. Uh, Judy, you're from the Lou. I'm from the Lou. Graduated from Sodan High School, uh, class of uh, 76, I do believe. Uh, graduated a little early. Uh, they let me get my diploma at, seven, in, uh, at 75 because I went straight into the United States Marine Corps after that. Uh, but anyway, so much. Uh, big shouts out to the Lou. Uh, Judith, I used to be at a dance group called Peace Disturbance uh, when I was at Sodan High School. And uh, we, we did what we had to do. We, we challenged any dance groups uh, around the St. Louis uh, area. And every time we challenged them, you know who came out on top? Uh, the Peace Disturbance. Um, and it made up a group of uh, four to five guys. And we used to do our thing. You know what I'm saying? We used to, we used to come out and just have fun. And we had talent shows. But anyway, now you're dealing with an adult here, Chef Peasy. That would be Meezy. The company is called Bones in the Buckets, a St. Louis style way of barbecuing. But I don't. I just don't barbecue. I'm an international chef, and I'm a creative chef. Okay. With that being said, until next time, God bless you, Miss Watson, and uh, may the new year give you everything you want. But you got to pray first, okay? Until next time, hands on, hands in. Peace. And don't forget that crouton egg, okay? Never forget that crouton egg because your guests are going to be impressed. All right? Peace.